So it's 1.2 million organizations that are part of critical infrastructure. And that doesn't include the ones with less than 100 employees. Yes, correct. Otherwise, that is significant. It's a, there's, a, there's a lot that needs to be done in order to, su- to support and elevate the cybersecurity posture. And the only way to do it is to force the hand. So is to negotiate with government in the United States, with the allies, through the easiest point of entry, with support on cyber awareness, support on cyber ranges, support on understanding their cyber exposure, the hacktivist activity that they could have against them, the level of compromised credentials that they might have out uh, for trade on the dark web, and everything else, and help them to negotiate and get better cyber insurance deals. The goal is resilience, right? We cannot just build walls. We're not another firewall company. The world has enough firewall companies. It's the, it, the days of firewalls. They're not numbered. Firewalls are always going to be necessary, but it's not just about firewalls. Now it's really is about bouncing back, is about being ready to bounce back, giving people the flexibility to be able to withstand an attack just like the passing wind.